right, this guy, introducing this guy, he helped me start off my first show here. We you know, we'll always drive around, you know, and fighting clicks will do a show. We had adventures, like, well, I was really drunk. And no matter what, what how many times I punched him in the face, we will not wake up until we got to his house. I said, hey, bro, thanks. Well, here he is, Julian Aguilar, hosting tonight. Comedy Asylum, welcome to the very first roast we have here. We're gonna roast that dirty ass motherfucking Mexican back there. It's gonna be lots of fun, I swear to God. I don't even know why, he is the founder of Comedy Asylum. Give him a round of applause, first of all. Because he has done this since November, and we're just gonna pay him tribute, and we're gonna congratulate him on all that stuff, and I'm not sure if some of you know what a roast is. Um, he's gonna sit right here, and what it is, is that we are gonna insult him for two, about two hours straight. Two hours straight, we're gonna insult his ass up here on stage. And <laughs> this is my first time hosting, so if, I, if I'm a little shitty, I'm sorry, but you get what you pay for, right? So, so that's, that's what you get, it's my first time, so uh, we're gonna get this party started. When I call your name, comics, you're gonna get your asses up here, and Sit right here. Gabe, Gabe, I'm sorry, Gabe Cabrera, get your ass up here. All right. We got a little short Mexican with a mustache. All right. So he's so eager right here. And uh, next coming to the stage, Buck. Give it up for Buck coming to the stage. The darkest man in the room. Give it up. Look at the fuck easy. <laughs> All right. You get the last seat. Or not? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> All right. Next. Last Coming to the stage, we got Rob Shock. Give it up. All right. Irish fat dude. Lucky charm. I had too much cereal. Come on, let's go. <laughs> JT Foreman. God damn it, looks like a child molester right now. I cannot be seen with him in public, I swear to God. People will give us dirty looks, especially when we see these cannon gear. All that shit won't even go down. Uh, we also have some comics that will come later on in the show. Uh, he's on his way. He's on his way. We also got Chris Garcia. From a picnic sandwich shops here in Visalia, California, up and coming comic. Uh, and now, introducing the roasted and toasted for the night. Give it up for the dirty, crazy ass Mexican with the fucked up accent, Eulalio Magalia. Give it up, keep it going. Yeah, you never want that shit to happen ever, Rose. Oh, so how are we gonna get this started? You know what? I'm, 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 yeah. Huh? Make fun of Oh, okay. I'm gonna make fun of people. I'm gonna make fun of people. I actually was supposed to be in this rose, but yeah. You get what you pay for, I'm sorry. This is turning out to be a great show, huh? Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I don't know any of these people, um, so I'm gonna start off with the fuck you. Um, you're fat. <laughs> JT Foreman. JT Foreman had a room in Fresno at uh, Coffee Fresno. He had a room there for a while, but it closed down. And he is uh, he is supposed to be the serial killer of comedy. The only thing that got murdered was his own comedy room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Our first uh, roaster, Gabe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna fuck you to you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roast Lola tonight. As you can see, it's not gonna be that hard. <laughs> 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 
This guy looks like the least of the fucking Foo Fighters, so let's get ready. <laughs> All right. This guy, I don't know, man, I don't know. Just look at him, guys. The Indian with the crooked hat. <laughs> God damn it. This one, I love his shirt. He's a transformer, but I think he's more like a Decepticon. <laughs> and this one, last time we had sex, saw so cyber sex. Uh, all right, well, like I said, it's my first time doing this, so uh, I'm gonna get my best shot. Like I said, you get what you pay for. So here I am. All right. How many of you got kids out there? Uh, one, one, one. This is my son, you're gonna lie. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, well I got kids, like I said, I'm short, so every time I go swimming with my kids, they always tell me, stay where we can see you, Dad, stay where we can see you. <laughs> and then in the morning, when they want cereal, they bring a goddamn chair, because I'm not telling them to get on the fridge. So, well, I'm killing it here, so it's <laughs> Oh man, I'm nervous. I can't. I can't even look at you. But Tim, fuck nasty, just got nasty. Ladies and gentlemen, fuck me. I don't know how that's all going to go. Fuck it. I was right. Fuck me, man. Gabe, do it over, Gabe. Gabe was a little nervous. This is one of my alter egos, Afro Tan. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> see, see, I don't have any hair, and I won't. Uh, <laughs> so you got a skin mark. Start, thank you. I started balding when I was like 12. <laughs> I'm like, Wuladio, Waganya. Wait, one. <laughs> this is my favorite joke by Mr. Mugani. Imagine, if you will, if my afro was hanging down like this. <laughs> Hello, Lord. My name is Olavia. And if you ever noticed, I have an accent. I've lived here all my life. I like big women. And this one girl, she's very short. She can only reach my nipple, and I can reach her clit. <laughs> and when we walk around, she goes, Wee! <laughs> favorite joke, my favorite joke, except for the white girl. Can I pet her? Can I pee on her? You know, he goes into like how white girls are exotic because he's Mexican. So then he starts, you know, it took me two weeks to understand what that they were saying. And we would talk on the phone, and we would argue by text because he would piss me off because I wouldn't understand what the fuck he's saying on the phone. <laughs> so we're arguing. Am I coming over? No. Are we doing a show? Yes. Then we'll talk on the phone. Even his texting has an accent. Like, I'm fucking confused. <laughs> a lot of you got you, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, so I'm going to continue to roast his ass. I don't know. Just, just, uh, trying to get drunk. <laughs> it's only like nine of you. I was like, fuck it, let's get drunk. I want to be like a white girl at spring break. Wow! You know, they're fun. Um, yeah, speaking of white girls, he likes talking about white girls because since he is Mexican and white girls are exotic to him, he'll go like, you guys, you've heard of this one. You know my friend? Dates a white girl? And you know, to me, white girls are very exotic? First and foremost, you've been in this country your whole goddamn life. Where do you get that fucking accent from? <laughs> I mean, don't act like y'all were wondering where you got it from. And you know, this guy is like well educated, like what, like double masters, fucking, you know what I'm saying? He was pretty under there, all that hair and shit. And you walk up and he's like, you know, people are can, sometimes they don't think I'm very smart because of the way that I that I look. Dude, you look like fucking Jesus on fucking map, dude. <laughs> 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 
I was the only one that was thinking that. <laughs> too soon. Amy Winehouse, too soon? Too soon? Too soon? Too soon? All right. All right, so I'm going to open it up for some other folks to talk. Listen, I'll fucking... Hold on. Wait one. My name is Ronaldo, and when I was eight in Mexico, he never fucking grew up in Mexico. <laughs> Sheriff over my ass. That's for all the fucking black jokes, huh? Think that shit's funny, don't you? Wait till your fucking roast. All right, so. The next person, I'd like to introduce the next person for you since I'm up here and I don't shit. All right? Well, guys, did you write this? Yes. Even his handwriting has an accent. <laughs> How the fuck does handwriting have an accent? Too soon? Too soon? Too soon? No? Okay. All right. Coming up next is Rob Shaw. Job. Thank you very much, everyone. Mm. Oh my God! Someone dug up J uh, James Brown's corpse <laughs> <laughs> and shaved his head. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, stay there. Let's become the black guy. <laughs> There's only one of them. Hi. Boom. Uh, <laughs> I think tonight may be my last night ever. <laughs> Julian, that's a very nice introduction. Thank you very much. Last time I saw you, I was filling up your tits. I really hope that someday you can repay me the favor. <laughs> JT is a closet Nazi. When he's playing toward, to an ethnic room, he really wishes his jokes killed. <laughs> Weren't you trimming my tree last weekend? <laughs> yeah, it was you, right? Yeah. I'm black, I'm not even talking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, That's the only time the white guy gets to... Okay, I feel very guilty, okay? I feel very, very guilty. Sorry, I'm, I'll go, I'll suck all your dicks later on. Well, just yours and yours. I don't know if I can find yours. But here we are here for this guy right here. His name is Yowalio Magana. You killed his father, prepare to die. Yowalio's life began when a hooker swallowed his father's semen and then vomited into his mother's vagina. It shaped his life ever since. When I first met him, he was trying to give comedy advice to a homeless guy. And then when I stopped him and asked him what he was trying to do, he said, I'm trying to give him head. At least, that's what I thought he said. I may have been mistaken. One time, Awalio saved my life. I was attacked by a bear, and quickly, he coiled his arms and legs around the beast and strangled him to death. Then he said to the bear, I want to eat your asshole. At least that's what I thought he said. I may have been mistaken. And after he tried to give comedy advice to the bear, his lower jaw became unhinged, which allowed him to swallow the bear whole. It took him three minutes to digest, and he didn't even have to take a shit. Me and all the other ones went to the carnival. We spent the whole night in the Hall of Mirrors. 
Because every time we passed a mirror, he had to stop and give his own reflection comedy advice. <laughs> and then he said, my vagina can take the penises of the entire universe. At least that's what I thought he said. <laughs> El Wallio is so full of shit that everyone wants to hire him as a field worker because every time he opens his mouth, it helps to fertilize the crops. <laughs> well, well, you know, thank you very much. You honor us all, and I know that you will always call on me. And when you do, I will understand the word you say. Thank you very much. And he has, 
He's come out lately as a nerd. It's, it's true. Now, I figured out you were a nerd when I noticed you had a blog. <laughs> Now, fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna fuck all y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna do that anyway. Every last one. Now, according to Facebook, you have a degree from Columbia Southern University in tourism? How the hell did you get them to let you major in vacation? <laughs> you, let them, they, you got them to let you major in going on vacation. That's awesome. I'd also like to point out that it's the black guy on the panel who's the most highly educated. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you are gonna get it. <laughs> of course, he's also the most in debt because of all those student loans, but no. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Now, Julian, Julian Aguilar is often described as a high energy comic. And that's true. You see how high energy he is? But you notice that says nothing about whether or not he's funny. You know, it's, it, it's, high energy is one of those neutral statements, like interesting. You know, he's really interesting. Well, you know what? The Holocaust was interesting. That doesn't make it good. Sorry. Yo, Ali Magana, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Awesome. It's good to see you. Thanks for uh, thanks for inviting me to come to your roast. Yeah, I remember when he booked me for the show. Actually, he didn't book me for the show. He just put an event on Facebook, sent invitations to all of my friends. Two days later, one of them was like, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the, at the Rose of Yulali. <laughs> that's not a booking, that's a chat. <laughs> I think we all got Facebook hijacked here tonight, didn't we? Pretty much. <laughs> you know, that's, the, that's the way he books all the shows now. Actually, pretty soon he's just going to start recruiting the same way that the Navy did in the 1800s. They'll show up at the comedy store, wait for some comedian to get drunk and pass out. Yeah. By the time they wake up and the hangover's over, it'll be their turn on stage. <laughs> like Shane and I have been working for you all in Bulgaria. <laughs> I, I do want to thank you, though, for making me look, uh, you know, well-balanced. <laughs> I appreciate that. It, it's, it's nice when I'm not the, actually the creepiest guy in the room. I mean, he's the only st stalker in the world, and the restraining order actually says it's not so much what he said as how he said it. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's actually a lot easier to understand him when he mumbles. Uh, <laughs> But I do want to thank you for inviting me to come out here. Uh, I do highly appreciate it. Um, I, I've gotten to know Lalo over the past year or so since I started doing comedy again. And, uh, and he is definitely another one of them. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Everybody, it's, it's his birthday, by the way. It's, it's not. <laughs> the event on Facebook said it was your birthday roast, dude. That was a free roast. <laughs> the first time I looked at it, it said it was your birthday. Okay, it's not birthday. Motherfucker. All right. <laughs> no, don't clap for this guy. Oh, when is your birthday? May 6th. May 6th? It was like several months ago. I'm, I'm just late. That's what it is. Well, well damn, I want the gift back. <laughs> well, happy non-birthday. Thanks a lot for coming to the show. Thank you, JT Foreman. Serial killer comment just killed the room. Thank you. Buck, I have to do this joke because... Uh, you know. Yes, I do. You know. I, have to, I have to do this joke because... I, I don't say racist jokes a lot, so I'm going to say... said it last time you were here. The time
We're roasting a black dude. Why are we roasting a black dude? This guy's been uh, burned since he's been born. <laughs> they ain't too racist for laughing. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I, I want to talk about that shit. I gotta see for a second. I, I need a few minutes. You know, you know, like when you do have a racist that's really racist. Like even white folks, you even have a couple friends that says some shit, and y'all just like, damn, I'm white, and I didn't even say that shit. You know what I mean? You have that friend. I like when people like throw out like those fucked up disclaimers, like. You know, I'm not a whore, but I suck dick. You know what I'm saying? I have one friend that's like, I don't have a problem with Mexican people. I like burritos. What does that mean? The check's in the mail, my best friend's black. It's not true. It's a fantasy. So I'm just defending that I do not have to say racial slurs in my comedy for people to laugh at me. They laugh at me just fine on their own. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Coon is still my favorite racial slur. <laughs> now I will give the microphone back because I have to fucking defend myself, you <laughs> old ass bitch. <laughs>